Hello again. I just wanted to give some final tips and reminders regarding the OSSLT. Um, it is important that you pay close attention to these tips because during the actual test, we are not allowed to help you. We are not allowed to clarify any questions for you. So it's really important that you use the tools available to you during on the test or on the computer program and that you pay attention to some tips. That makes it even more important to check out the OSSLT prep site on the LMS. Everyone has access to it and that way you'll, be, you'll feel prepared and more comfortable when the time comes to write the actual test. So I'm just going to go through some tips for you so we can go to the presentation. Okay, so first of all, be prepared. Have your OEN number handy. You will need it to log in. The government recognizes you by your OEN number. It can be found on Aspen. Your phones will need to be turned off and put away. You will need to be in full uniform. Put all bags, jackets, etc. in your locker to un avoid unnecessary delays. Report directly to the library by 8.10 at the very latest. Do not be late or you will miss important instructions that we are only allowed to read once. Please make every effort to be present on your designated day. If you are absent, there is no guarantee that we can fit you in on a later date, so please try to be present on your designated day. And don't forget, once again, I can't stress this enough, review beforehand by checking out the OSSLT prep page on LMS. So, for the actual test, please do not leave any blanks. Answer all the questions. Make an educated guess if you need to. Use the flag tool so you can flag questions that you're not quite sure of and you can return back to them later. Also, the questions will also often ask you to use information from the selection. In this case, selection refers to the piece that you are reading or working on. So the story that you're reading, the conversation, the narrative, etc. That's what they mean by the selection. The selection does not refer to the whole test. It just refers to the section that you are reading at that moment. For short answer questions, there is often more than one part to the question, so pay attention to that. Make sure you are answering each component of the question to get full marks. For example, the question will often state, explain your answers using information from the selection and your own ideas. Therefore, your answer should include proof from the story or text and your own ideas. Don't forget to answer your questions in complete sentences because grammar and spelling is often is also marked on the short answer questions. Next, for the opinion piece, please stick to one side of the issue. It is an opinion piece, so you must have an opinion. So either take a look at the question and answer either yes or no. You may notice after the test when you are talking to your peers that they might have gotten a different opinion piece question, and that's okay. You, it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with the test that you have. There are different versions of the test, so the person writing right beside you will likely have a different, a slightly different test from you, and that's okay. So, for the opinion piece, agree or disagree with the statement, and then provide proof or reasons. It needs to be in paragraph form. So make sure you're using paragraphs and you are stating your opinion and give reasons for your opinion. So for example, if the question is, should all students have a part-time job, you need to answer either yes or no and explain accordingly using paragraphs. Because it's an opinion piece, you are allowed to use I. So for example, if the question is, should students have a part-time job, and you're not quite sure, you can use the rough notes section. There is a rough notes section where you can kind of brainstorm and write down your reasons and try to figure out how you're going to approach it. It is a good idea to try to have some type of introduction where you state your opinion and then perhaps have a paragraph for each of your reasons. That's an easier way to do it and then finish with a conclusion. So if the question is, should students have a part-time job, you, for example, if I chose yes, I could do one paragraph on yes, it's a good idea to have a part-time job because you can earn extra money. 
my second paragraph could be about something like, well, yes, it is a, all, another reason why it is a good uh, idea to have a part-time job is that you can learn people's skills and communication skills. So I could do a whole paragraph about that and give some opinions and examples. But the third paragraph could be um, another reason why students should have a part-time job is because it teaches them to balance their time. And then you can give an example from your real life or a, a general example, as long as it backs up your reasoning. And then you can end with a conclusion. So that is the best way to take up the space. Tr please try to take up the space. It doesn't really tell you how, none of this test tells you how much it's worth. Normally when we write a test at school, it tells you that the question is worth three marks, five marks, etc. It does not do this on the OSSLT. So the only gauge that you have is the amount of space and the words that it allots for you to write. Next, please make sure you are organized. Organize your time and your answer. Look over the test first so that you will know what tasks are involved. However, keep in mind that you are all entitled to extra time if you need it. So, and, and please make use of the rough notes section on the test. We'll also provide pens and pencils for you if you would rather do rough notes on paper. For the reading sections, read the questions first before you read the actual selection or text. That way you know what you are looking for as you read and it will be quicker and more purposeful and you'll find the answers more easily. There's a split screen function which is highly, highly recommended. Use the split screen function where you can see the questions on one side and the actual reading text or selection at the, on the other side at the same time. It makes it so much easier. And when you're scanning the questions before you actually read the story or the text, if the question refers to a certain paragraph, so on the OSSLT, all of the paragraphs are numbered. So if it gives you a question that states, what is the purpose of the dash in paragraph four, you can go to paragraph four in the story and highlight it. That way, when you go to read the text or the story, you will know that that section, there's a question about that section, so you can read that section and that paragraph more closely. Grammar and punctuation count. Please write any answers using complete sentences and be sure to double check your grammar and punctuation. Indent all paragraphs for the opinion piece. Do not skip lines because it takes up um, space in your word count and you might run out of space to write your answers. Fill in as much of the allotted space as possible. The audience for each writing piece is always an adult, so make sure your writing is formal and avoid slang and abbreviations. Don't write as if you are texting your friends. And that being said, don't try to impress by, keeping, by trying to use unfamiliar words and sentence structure. Keep it formal, but keep it simple. So good luck. You will do well if you are prepared and you stay calm and you just do the best you can. The tests are evaluate, evaluated by EQAO, so once you submit, they are sent off in, into cyberspace to EQAO in Toronto and results should be available in a couple of months. The passing score, a lot of people ask about what you need to pass. So the passing score is a level three. So the test is technically usually out of 400, which means you need a score of 300 to pass. So that's the equivalent of a level three provincial standard. Uh, this does not mean that the test is out of 300 questions, absolutely not. You will have enough time, most students have enough time to write the test and be assured that you will all have extra time if you need it. So please see one of us, uh, Mr. Giovanni, Ms. Jillia, or Ms. Tanielowitz if you have any questions. Thank you and good luck on the OSSLT.